Hi everyone and welcome to St Hugh's Children's Church Online. I hope that you are well. Today we're going to um, have a challenge, um, a little bit different from the weekly challenge but we'll talk about that as well and um, we're going to listen to a story um, all about Jesus and the very start of his ministry um, here on earth and to do so we're going to be looking in the New Testament. So get your wiggles out. Are you sitting comfortably? Let's begin. Um, Jesus grew up in a town called Galilee and in Galilee there was a massive lake and um, Jesus was one day um, walking down, this was just after he'd been baptised, he was walking down by the lake and he was teaching people all about God. He was telling people that God loved them, that he was the king and he wanted everyone to be a part of his um, kingdom and he was telling people all about this and the crowds grew bigger and bigger and bigger and Jesus was like going up to the water's edge, going up, going up, he nearly fell in the water. So he asked this man called Peter, who was a fisherman and had his boat there at the lakeside, could I go out in your boat um, and we could go out and I could teach more people from your boat? Jesus does this a few times in the Bible. And Peter said, yeah, to tell you the truth, mate, like I've not caught any fish all night. Nothing's biting, like it's useless anyway to me. So I might as well take you out in it. So Jesus got in the boat and Peter took Jesus out to the lake. And when they were out in the lake, Jesus said, Peter, why don't you throw your nets overboard? And Peter was like, hmm, is this man crazy? I've just told him I've been out all night and nothing, I can't get any fish whatsoever. And Jesus went, no, go on, Peter. And Peter obviously thought, oh, yeah, okay, I'll just do this to please this man. And so he threw his, lake, his nets into the lake. And after a while... They started to try and pull the nets up and they started pulling. Can you do some pulling and pulling and pulling? But it was too heavy and they couldn't possibly pull it all up. So Peter was like, what on earth is going on? Look at all these fish in here, quick. And he had to shout for his friends on the boat over there. Come closer and help us pull all of these fish out of the water. There was just so many fish <clears throat> that it was the boats must have been like whoop, 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 so laden down with the amount of fish that it had to have more than one boat to collect them all of the nets and Peter was absolutely amazed and so were all the people on the boat can you do your amazed face <laughs> a, a happy shocked face <laughs> and they were just totally amazed and Peter said surely no ordinary person could possibly do this you you must be someone special you you must be God and Jesus said Peter I am now doing work here and I need people like you I need to have friends to come and help me on my mission and Peter was like hmm, okay and Jesus said Peter no longer do you are you going to be a fisher that fish a uh, fisherman that fishes for all these fish but you're going to be a fisher of men. And so that day, Peter and some others decided to join Jesus on his mission. Well done in listening to that. So um, today I want you to um, have some questions we're going to think about. So in a minute, um, get ready to do some pausing. So number one, I want to ask you, what do you think Jesus' mission was here on earth? What do you think Jesus' mission was here on earth? So pause the video now and discuss. Well done. Okay, so question number two. I want you to talk about what is a fisher of men? So Jesus said, you're not going to be no longer be a fisherman of fish. You're going to be a fisher of men. I want you to pause the video now and discuss that. Well done, that's brilliant. So Jesus um, came to earth because he had a mission and his ultimate mission was that he would die on the cross. And that all the punishment that we deserve for anything that doesn't put a smile on God's face would go on him instead of us. But he also had other mission, didn't he, while he was here on earth? And that was to show everyone 
God. It was to show everyone that God loved them and wants them to be a part of his kingdom. And so Jesus knew that he needed friends to do that. And so he called Peter and some other friends. And we know that he had 12 disciples and lots of other people that followed him too. And their mission was the same as Jesus. It was to show people that God loved them and wanted them to be in his kingdom. Now, who here is a friend of Jesus? Awesome, I'm a friend of Jesus. And that means that we have been given a mission by Jesus as well, doesn't it? We are to be fishers of people. I mean, some of us might like to be normal fishermen as well, but we are called to be fishers of men, just like Peter and his friends were in that Bible story today. What does that mean? It means that we're called to tell people about God and that he loves them and wants them to be a part of his kingdom. So we're going to um, pause in a minute and I want you to come up with some really cool ideas of how you can be fishers of men. And at the moment, um, with being inside, that maybe looks a little bit different than it normally would. But I want you specifically to think about right now at this time um, and this moment, how you can be fishers of men. So pause the video now and discuss. Wow, I'm sure you came up with some brilliant ideas. I would love it if you would share those ideas with me and I can pass it around everyone. So I said yesterday that I was gonna put some photos up. I've not managed to plug my printer in yet to show you the photos, but people have sent some photos I'm gonna show you for the different challenges that have been going on. Please do send photos or send um, uh, me uh, the ideas that you've had or send me anything that you write it'd be brilliant I know some of you are so good at writing poems and spoken word it'd be brilliant if you could share those I've already put up my stars from yesterday's um chat talk on Abraham and Sarah so please do keep them coming in and I'll be able to share them with everyone so we're going to pray now if you'd like to close your eyes Dear God, we thank you that Jesus came to earth and that he died on the cross for us so that we could have a relationship with you. But we thank you that he also taught us about another mission, the mission to tell everyone about you, to tell everyone that you love them and want them to be a part of your kingdom. Please help us to do that, to share your love with everyone in thought, in word, in action and in deed. We pray for all of the people that are still working at the moment. We pray that you would be with them and keep them safe. We pray for our parents who are getting us to do our homework at home. We thank you that they are trying really hard. Help us to be patient, God. Help us to love each other, even when we're really frustrating each other. Help us to remember that you are love and that we need to love other people. Amen. Well done. So um, today I want you to think about those um, ways in which you can be fishers of people right now. But also um, I want you to go and do them. Um, and that can be linked into our three challenges this week. So do something for God, do something for others and do something for yourself. Please keep them coming in, all of your thoughts. And um, probably at the beginning of next week, we'll share any testimonies, which is just our story um, of anything that we've done for ourselves, for others and for God. Um, take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.